Good morning and welcome back. For this week's edition of My Recipe Box, we're showing off a dish from Tybee Island Social Club. Now here to tell us all about it is the owner and executive chef, Curtis Shum. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to Middle Georgia. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time I've stayed the night in Macon. Okay, well fabulous. Hope you're having a good trip so far. Uh, Curtis, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I'm kind of all over the place. I was born in <laughs> Kentucky, um, and I got into music, uh, traveled um, with my brother. We were with Columbia Records for a couple years, and then um, got into food very seriously. Um, opened a restaurant, okay. got married. Okay, I, 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 so <laughs> you're the owner of Tybee Island Social Club. For mm -hmm. our folks at home who maybe aren't so familiar, describe it. What's it like over there? Well, Tybee is great. It's very small. It is about three miles long. Um, you can have an open container there, which is <laughs> nice. Um, we've got a restaurant that's got wonderful drinks um, and food. Uh, the Talk about some of the menu items. Okay. It's, uh, it's kind of loosely Latin inspired. Mm -hmm. And we have tacos, but we've also got a lot of seafood dishes. Um, there's like a, a Catalan dish that's called romesco. Um, it's like almonds and uh, seared white fish. It's really good. Sounds good. Now you guys are kind of known for your local fresh catch and you've got a seafood dish with you this morning. Let's talk about that. What did you bring? This is um, seared diver scallops Ooh, yeah. um, in duck fat okay. and at the restaurant we use all of everything. Um, so when we roast duck for our duck tacos we use that fat to cook things um, and it's it's a great it's a great way to to do so but anyways this this dish um, is very very simple um, there's uh, borson cheese which you can buy at any grocery store with um, radish that's cut like matchsticks okay. um, and then you want to get a pan really really hot to oh, anytime you sear the okay. pan's got to be super let's hot let's see those uh, ingredients while Curtis is talking about this dish right here sure okay um, keep going so when you, when you sear, you want to get a pan very, very hot. Um, I like to add the oil toward the end of the peak of the heat okay. um, so that it doesn't, it doesn't burn, especially if you're using an oil with a lot of flavor in it, like duck fat or mm -hmm. bacon fat or anything like that. Uh, and you, you don't want to overcrowd a pan because when, when you do, uh, when, when you sear, you're, you're removing moisture. Um, and so in order to remove moisture, um, you, you don't want to crowd the pan because then the moisture can't escape. Um, and, and this is actually a really good winter seafood dish, right? Yeah, it's great. It's just a, it's an awesome app uh, for for this time of year. It's really it's quick and easy. I and mean, when you say app, you mean appetizer, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I, I mean, this is fairly easy to make, right? Right. Minus maybe the duck fat. I don't know where. Well, I mean, it, you can you could use any type of oil or, or butter or or anything. And as a rule of thumb, when you're using oils at high temperatures, the less flavor that it has, um, the higher temperature it can go. Okay. So like a vegetable oil, you know, you can get very very hot. I did um, not and know olive that. oil, uh, you know, is more flavor, so it's going to burn easier. Duck fat or bacon fat, a lot of flavor, so they're going to burn very quickly. All right. Well, we I know about bacon fat. <laughs> learn something new about duck fat. Okay, well, for more information on Tybee Island Social Club, just head to our website, that's 41NBC.com, or enjoy a meal for yourself and go see them at 1311 Butler Avenue in Tybee Island. Thank you so much for being yeah. on the show this morning. No really problem. appreciate it. Thanks for having me.